Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to see internal working of a linked hash map and linked hash chart. So in the earlier videos we have already covered the internal working of the hash map and in this video we will continue with the linked hash map. So let's see how different is linked hash map uh, compared to the hash map and how internal working is different. Now first of all linked hash map means it's a combination of a linked list and hash map. So whenever you are working with a linked hash map that particular class is extending the hash map as well so if you see this class here i have open this class linked hash map here and if you open this class you can see that linked hash map class extends hash map class and implements the map interface so all the functionalities of a hash map is available within the linked hash map plus extra functionalities of a linked hash map is also available so now let's understand how the difference is linked hash map so other than storing the key value pair in the hash map in the bucket itself how hash map does so if you want to know more about the internal working of a hash map this is the video that you can check it out i will link that video in the description below as well now the main difference is linked hash map will maintain the insertion order as well so other than storing the data in the key value pair it will also maintain the insertion order so uh, the order in which you are going to insert the data in the linked hash map and whenever you want to traverse through all those values you will get those values in the inserted order itself so we need to understand how that particularly values in the insertion order are maintained within the linked hash map so let me just uh, take the example here my handwriting and my drawing is really bad so please don't mind so what i'll do i'll just create one bucket here so let me create a bucket okay this is a bucket this bucket is nothing but the array of nodes okay uh, by default the size will be 16 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay this is your uh, bucket created now when you are working with the hash map what it will store is it will store the entry object in this all the buckets so it will have the entry object so this entry object will consist of a key that is k uh, it will also consist of a value and it will also consist of a hash means whatever the hashing is generated to store any particular value it will store that and it will also store the next node okay so what is the next node that is going to be stored so whenever there is a collision right so for any two keys if you are getting the same hash values there will be collision and to maintain the collision we will store the values we will store the nodes next to this already stored node in the bucket so these are the values that will store in the hash map but if you are working with the linked hash map there are two extra things that will be stored as well so what it will do is it will store the extra value that is the before object before node of the current node and the after node as well okay so these are the two things that will store extra when you're working with the linked hash map now other than this two within the entry object within the entire linked hash map object as well we will have two values that will be the head and one will be the tail so these two things head and tail will store the object that is but that will be the first node itself and the last node itself so these two values will be stored now this head and tail is not available within the hash map but these are available within the linked hash map so if i show you here within the linked hash map class you can see that there are two linked hash map entry objects that is head and tail okay these two things and if you see the entry class it extends the hashmap.node class so hashmap.node class has all the key, key value uh, next object and everything you can see that these are all the values that are part of the entry class other than that these are the two extra entry objects that are used that is the before object and the after object i will tell you how these two are used but this is the structure behind the linked hash map so this is the structure now let's understand how it will store the values so ideally whenever the interviewer is asking you this question they are looking for how the put operation works means how the data will be stored and how the get operation will work so we will concentrate more on these two particular parts only so let me just uh, change the color of a pen now let's take one example where we are storing key and value pair in our linked hash map so we are storing key equals to one and value equals to shabir so these are the two things that i want to store as a key value pair in my linked hash map so for these things what it will do is it will try to calculate the hashing so, so ideally when hash map works right it also linked hash map also works on the hash map so whenever the hash map works what it will do is for this key whatever the key is it will call the hash code function of object okay so within this hash code 
function what it will return is it will return the integer value once the integer value is written for this hash code for a particular key that value that integer value is used as an input parameter for the hashing function this hashing function will return the hash value that hash value will be stored here at this point for the within the entry object and this hashing object is nothing but a particular hash value that will return to identify at which particular bucket location we want to store the object so suppose consider this hashing object is returning one okay that means at the bucket one we have to store this particular object okay so uh, this is how it will create the object so the object will be like uh, k equals to one because key is one my value is equal to shabir my hash function equals to one because my hashing function got one as the result here and then it will be next object by default the next object will be marked as null because this is the first object that we are going to store here okay it will check is there any object available within this uh, bucket or not if not this is the first object so at that time my next would be null other than that my before object is also going to be null and my after object is also going to be null okay so this is the entire object that has been created and this object is going to be stored at this particular bucket location okay now the object is created now other than this once the object is created as this is the first object that we are going to store in the link dash map it will update the head and tail position as well so this first particular object this is going to be head as well because this is the first object and this is the last object itself because there is only one so this is going to be your tail as well for your link list so this is how it's going to store the first object now let's store the second object what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to take the second object as k equals to 8 okay key is 8 uh, value equals to nickel and the hash function like it will call the hash code and from the hash code it will return the integer value that value is will be used in the hashing function that will return the hash to store in which particular bucket location we have to store the values and considering that hash function whatever it is returned that is equal to 8 it's just the assumption okay whatever the value comes then it will have the next object as well next equals to null then the before before is also going to be null and after equals to null now this is the object created okay let me just create the boundaries okay so this is the object created now what we have to do is we have to store this particular object at this hash location okay so what we did we store this hash location here because this is the eight position then what we have to do is we have to update the previous one so wherever the head is right so this is your head and this is the first element so what we have to do is i have to link those objects so what i'll do is the after object okay this after object of this particular first node will refer to this node itself okay so it will connect to the next available node so first node so first node would be this node second node would be this node and the before property before object of this node will refer to this one because this is the before object for this two things clear that uh, after of this particular node after of this particular node element would be this node the next value came and the before would be the previous one and one change would be like the tail object right tail will be removed from here and tail will be marked as here so this will be your tail then okay so now this is your head this is your head this is your tail and these two objects are connected with the before and after properties so you can see that these two objects are stored at two different bucket locations but they are connected with the before and after properties now let's take the example of a third object so suppose i want to store the third object so what i'll do i'll create a third object i have k equals to three value equals to shivam okay and hash function is equals to suppose one the value that i got uh, from the hash function is one so that means i have to store this particular object at the first bucket itself and after that the next property next property would be again null in the starting the before object would be again null and the after object will be again null and this object is ready to be stored now you can see that 
the hash value is one so that means i have to store this hash in the first bucket itself okay this particular position but you can see that at this particular position i have already one object added to it okay that is this particular value so it will check okay this value is already exists so that means i need to add this particular node to the next particular object so what i can do is this object is created and the next of it right the first object is created so, so the next of it will be assigned here that this is the next of the this element okay one thing now this object is should also be assigned here so what i can do the after object of the second object because this is a tail object that means this is the last object added to it okay so the after of the this particular object has to be assigned to this because this is my now last object and the before of this particular current would be the previous object of this so whatever the previous tail would be that would be my before object and this will be my current last so that means this object currently newly added this has to be your tail so let me just remove this and this will be your tail so you can see that you are continuously adding all the elements at the different location and all this function all this function you can see that the object is created and the next of that particular object is created this when there is a collision this functionality is completely similar to the hash map hash map will work the same way the only extra thing is storing the before and after properties and maintaining the head and tail of the uh, nodes so this way you can see that whenever i want to go through the entire elements i want to just get all the different elements i can get all the elements from the head or tail if i want the data from the head position i'll get from the head to all the elements later so if i have access to this head the first element would be this and from this element whatever the after element would be right so after is connected to this so this will be my next element and the after of that will be this element so i'll get this particular object so sequentially you can see that the in order in which i have stored the data i'm getting the data based on this head and tail properties now this was all the put operation now how about get operation so the get operation works similarly how the hash map works so suppose you want the data for shivam okay this is your key i want to find this data okay so shivam you can see that this is the last one that uh, shivam is uh, created now to get the values what it will do is it will first do the hash code operation okay this hash code will result in the integer value okay this integer value will pass to the hashing function again okay and this hashing function will return the hash this hash is nothing but which particular bucket location right so this will return the bucket location so what i'll do i'll go to this bucket location ideally this will give me the result as one so i'll go to this first location here okay and from here i need to check if whatever the object that i'm getting here if the hash code okay the hash code of the shabir whatever the sorry hash code of the key whatever it is right sorry rather than rather than passing shivam i'll be passing k equals to three right because this is the value that i want to get back so i'll pass the value as three so at this particular point i will check the hash code with the key so the hash code of the key one is equal to the hash code of the three that i have passed if that's the case if it's equal then i should return the value of here but it is not the same right because it's different so the hash code will be different so in that case what i'll do i'll go to the next object available until the next is null at this particular case next is not null because next is pointing to this particular object right so i'll come here i'll check the hash code over here and the hash code of three that is equals to the value passed over here okay and we are getting the value hash code equals to three and we will also check the equals operator that the value k is equal to the value k given here that three equals to three at that particular point we can get okay this is the particular object that i want that i want to return so we will check always based on the hash code and the equals method so this is how the contracts of equals and hash code comes into picture in this particular scenarios we will uh, get the particular value that uh, this particular key is equal in the equals uh, operation as well and the hash code is also same so once i get that i can return the shivam from here so you can see that it will completely work the same way that how hash map was working so this way the put operation and get operation will work in the linked hash map now 
other than linked hash map there is a linked hash set as well so let's see that so in the linked hash set what it does is it extends the hash set so this is what linked hash set does it uh, it extends the hash set now within the hash set what it does is there is a different constructors available so within that different constructor when the constructor is called from the linked hash set it will create the object of a linked hash map sorry my handwriting is really bad okay and whenever uh whenever from the hash set is it is called from the hash map sorry it will create the object object of the hash map so okay so that this there are two different constructors available within the hash map and accordingly the objects will be created so as hash set was working based on the hash map linked hash set works on the basis of linked hash map everything is similar so rather than storing the key value pair linked hash set stores only the values okay so all the values that we pass are stored as the key so so whatever the value is passed right suppose value value is passed as shabir okay to store in the linked hash set what it will do is it will do the same operation what we saw in the linked hash map but for storing what it will do is it will use this value as a key shabir to store the data and for the value it will use the dummy object dummy constant okay this is the only difference so linked hash set also works on the principle of the linked hash map the only difference is for the value it will store the dummy object and the key it will use as the value that you have passed rest all the operation will work for the get and put or put operations so whenever you are trying to get the values it will always check with the particular keys itself and it will return your value so that's the difference between the linked hash map and linked hash set and linked hash map and the hash map implementation so this is how the internal working of the linked hash map is if you have any doubt then do let me know in the comment section below i have tried my best to simplify this implementation and if you have enjoyed this video then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also join the channel by clicking on the join button and support me and if you want you can also click on the thanks button to donate as well so that's all in this video i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye